Welcome to the IBM Cloud Developer Certification Section 2.5 Lab First Deploy Exercises. In this lab, we will be exploring how to manage our IBM Bluemix organization and spaces and how to create a service and deploy an application to Bluemix using both the web GUI and the command line interface. Then we'll explore how to update an existing application using the command line interface. There are a few prerequisites to this lab. You will need an active Bluemix account and a web browser that is supported by Bluemix. Also, you will need to have the Cloud Foundry command line interface version 6.5.1 or later installed, the Java SDK version 7 or later installed, and the Apache Ant build tool installed. Exercise 2.5.1 provides instructions for downloading and installing the Cloud Foundry command line interface. We will begin the lab walkthrough in exercise 2.5.2. Open a command line prompt and run the command CF option V. The version of the Cloud Foundry command line interface is returned. Next, run the command CFT or CF target. If you're not logged into Bluemix, you will be prompted to do so now. Run the command CF login. This will allow you to select an appropriate Bluemix API endpoint and then enter your Bluemix credentials. Once authenticated, Bluemix will give you the option to choose an organization. If you have multiple organizations, choose the one that matches your Bluemix ID. Then, select an appropriate space. Running the CF target command again ensures that we have authenticated ourselves to Bluemix and have the correct organization and space selected. The CF spaces command will return a list of available spaces in our selected organization. Changing spaces at the command line is easy. Just enter the command CF target with an option S and the space name you want to switch to. The command to create a new space is CF create dash space and the new space name. If you want to switch to that new space, you'll need to issue the CF target option S command. Running CF spaces again will ensure that our newly created space does indeed exist. To delete a space, issue the command CF delete dash space and the space name. You will be prompted and must enter a Y to continue to delete the space. Running CF spaces again will ensure that the deleted space is indeed gone. The command cforg followed by your organization name shows available resources and quota settings for the organization. The command cforg-users followed by your organization name will show the roles and permissions in the organization. The org manager role allows one to add other users to the organization and manage their roles and permissions. To view the roles and permissions for a particular space, issue the command CF space dash users followed by your organization name and the space name that you're interested in. The space developer role indicates that you have permission to create and configure applications and services in the targeted space. Ensure that you have these roles and permissions before continuing. Moving on to section 2.5.3, we will now deploy an application to Bluemix using our web user interface in the browser. After logging into IBM Bluemix, ensure that you have the correct space selected and then select Create an App from the menu. We're going to be deploying a web app, so click there, and then we want to browse boilerplates 
So click on the link to follow through. Once you have the boilerplate view up, select the Java Cloudant Web Starter Boilerplate. You'll need to give your application a unique name, so enter your initials followed by some unique identifier. Once you've entered in a unique name, click on the Create button at the bottom of the screen. After a moment, Bluemix will come back and tell you that your application is starting. While we wait for your application to start, we're going to go ahead and download the starter code to our workstation. You can do so from the file from the start coding view. There's a link download starter code. Click on it now. Go ahead and save the file to your desktop and we'll go ahead and, and extract the contents of that file as well. Going back to the Bluemix dashboard, we can jump to our dashboard and see the application listed here along with the services that are bound to it. The application continues to stage. Once the application is running, you'll see a notification in the top right letting you know that it's running. And then the route will actually become a URL that you can click on to open the application. After clicking on the route URL link, your application will load in a new browser tab. Note that this is just a boilerplate application using a CloudInt backend database that will allow you to upload files to the database and organize them in this view. A sample.txt file has been provided and is already loaded into the database. Clicking the link will show you the contents of that sample file. You can close the application tab now. Next we want to delete the application and services. Back in the Bluemix dashboard, click on the gear symbol and select Stop App you'll be prompted to stop the application and do so now. You'll receive notification when the application has successfully stopped. At this point we want to go ahead and delete the application so click the gear icon again and select delete app. We want to ensure that both services and the route are checked before we click delete. This will remove the application the Cloudant service, and the Monitoring Analytics service, and the route from the Cloud Foundry space. Once deleted, you'll be presented with a blank dashboard again. Moving on to section 2.5.4, now we will take the sample application code that was downloaded and extracted earlier and deploy it to Bluemix as well as create and bind a Cloudant database service. At the command line interface, switch directories to the folder where the sample application code is extracted. Then run the command cftarget to ensure that you, have, that you are authenticated to Bluemix and have the appropriate organization and space targeted. Next, run the command cfmarketplace. This command may take some time to return its results, but when it completes, you will be presented with a list of all available services and service plans. Scrolling up in the output, we can locate the Cloudant DB service and service plan names. We will need this information to create a service instance. The service name is Cloudant NoSQL DB and the service plan name is Shared. To create the service, use the command CF CS 
Cloudant no SQL DB shared followed by a unique name to give the service instance. Once the service is created, Bluemix will let you know. To verify the creation of the Cloudant service, issue the CF services command. Note that the service is not bound to any application. Remember the unique service name you gave the Cloudant service as this will be used to bind it to our application. We are now ready to deploy our application using the CF push command. We'll enter the command CF push followed by a unique name to identify our app followed by an option P and the path to the WAR file that we wish to deploy followed by option M with the amount of memory we'd like to allocate for our application followed by two dashes option no dash manifest and two dashes option no dash start no manifest instructs the command line tool not to use the supplied manifest the no start option instructs the command line interface tool to not automatically start the application we don't want the application to automatically start because we need to bind the Cloudant database service instance to the application before it starts. To bind the database service instance to the application, we will use the following command. CF BS for bind service, the name of our application and then followed by the name of the Cloudant service. Once that's complete, you can type in the command CF services to verify that the application and service are now linked. And also note that the application is still stopped using the CF apps command we can start it with the command CF start followed by the application name. Once Bluemix has finished deploying the application and starting it, you'll see some status messages in your output. Note that the state of the application is running. We can also reissue the command CF apps to review that state again. Note that it is started. Moving back to the Bluemix dashboard, we see that the status is green and running, and we can click on the pop out button to load our application in a new browser tab. We'll do so now. You can see that this is the same application that we deployed earlier from the boilerplate. Moving back to the command line, we can run the command CF routes to also get that URL information. The final portion of this lab demonstrates how one might make a change to their application and redeploy it to Bluemix. We will be modifying the HTML for the application, adding our own custom messaging. Using a text editor of your choice, open the index.html file located in the web content subdirectory inside the sample code we downloaded and extracted earlier. Locate the title tags and make a change to the title text. Then scroll down and make a change to the welcome text as well. Once you've updated the text, save the file and then return back to the command line. We'll need to rebuild the Java deployment WAR file using the ant builder command line. Ensure you're in the top directory of the project and issue the ant command. You'll see a message indicating the build was successful. Next, you want to stop your application. Issue the command CF stop followed by your application name. 
Once the application is stopped, we want to redeploy the application using the CF push command. Just like before, we'll do a CF push followed by our application name, option P followed by the deployment war file, and then a double option no manifest and a double dash option no start. Once the application is finished uploading, you can now start the application using the CF start followed by your application name command. Once the application has finished starting, you'll note the state is running. You can also issue the command CF apps to see that the state is started. Moving back over to our browser window, we'll launch the application in a new browser tab. You'll note that our new welcome message is showing here to ensure that our application changes have been updated in the live running app. The final portion of this lab is to remove the application again. Returning to the command line, we'll issue the command CF, SP, and then our app name to stop the application. The next step will be to delete the application itself. The command CFD followed by the application name and an option R will delete the application and any routes associated with that application. Once the application is deleted, the final step is to delete the service. A command CF apps and CF routes will ensure that both the app and the route is deleted. The command cfds and the service name will delete that service from the space. This concludes the IBM Cloud Developer Certification Section 2.5 Lab. Located inside the lab document, you will find a Cloud Foundry command line interface reference guide. Please refer to this reference in the future. Thank you for your time today.